This facing page thing is confusing to a lot of people. But imagine you're reading a book. That's a facing page document. You've got a left and a right page, and I'm going to use these two icons here as my little example. So page one is typically a right-hand page. When you open it, you're looking at a spread with a left-hand page and a right-hand page. So page two would be on the left, three would be on the right, and so on. So this means typically, and most of the time in InDesign, the odd number pages are going to go on the right, and the even number pages are going to go on the left. Now, if you're doing a book like um, Spiral Bound, something like that, you don't need facing pages checked if you don't want. But if you want to work with it in terms of the spreads that you'd see if you were reading through it, like a magazine or a book, it's a good idea to have that checked. However, it does make another difference down here for margins. If I uncheck that, so if I was going to do a spiral-bound document or just individual pages, the margins now read top, bottom, left, and right. Now the margins are guides that are put this far in from that edge of the page, and they're purely to help you gain consistency in design and layout. They're not there to print. They're not there to get in the way. And if you're doing facing pages, instead of being top, bottom, left, and right, it's top, bottom, inside, outside. Because this binding edge between the two pages is referred to as the inside margin, and the outside is the one on the far left and the far right. And that's important, because how you set up the bleeds and the slugs also refers to top, bottom, inside, outside, or top, bottom, left, and right. And I'll tell you more about these shortly. So if you're going to do a book or a magazine, you probably want to have that checked. It's also going to affect how things look in the Pages window, which we'll be looking at quite soon. So that's what the Facing Pages button is about.